Hit the big water and come out smiling today on At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. Now, it's not every day you get to ride Class 5 Rapids, but that's what we're doing today. And joining me, this is going to be a multi-generational effort because there'll be the wise and old Chad Booth and the young and talented, and I might say lovely, Alicia Staten. Finally, we'll see what legislators do on their day off. It's adventure on and off the land. Own the outdoors with AYL, next. She's a lady I've heard about all my life and I've never had a chance to meet. Her name is Brown Betty. Hello everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure Today. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Alicia Reverman. Chad, this actually is something you have never done. Take it to Alicia Reverman to finally introduce me. I want you to know that for a year, all she's been doing is saying, you should go down Cataract Canyon. Steven, I did it last year. So finally, now I'm here. We had the pleasure of doing this last year with Eric. This is Eric Thompson, and he is the guide for this canyon, which he's been doing this for quite some time. This place, it's the beginning of Cataract Canyon, and it's life-changing. It truly is. The first experience, we can come back for more. If you're into big white water and exciting thrills, this is it. The canyon next down, you have two rivers coming together, a lot of water in a very small space. So lots of compression, a lot of big waves. When they name these rapids, is there really a reason or rhyme to them? Because I'd name a few myself. You know, some of them historically have names. Capsized Rapid, Hell to Pay, or from the Powell Expedition. They huh. actually got a boat stuck for a number of days, got it off, and then lost the boat. Some of them have names, Little Niagara Falls, and when we go by it, you'll see why, because it literally looks like a waterfall in the see, middle. See, I'm kind of like any idea of what he's saying, because he said when we go by it, not through it. And so <laughs> that's giving me just a slight sense of relief. So uh, there's a couple of spots that we need to hold on really tight. After the sixth rapid, they get, start getting pretty big. So the first six rapids are kind of a nice introduction. Still two hands, because you can get bounced out. You can see the one down below, or at least hear it. They just are going to progressively get bigger and more technical as we go. You know, when he was in with the safety talk, if there had been a footpath back to Moab, I was going to be on it. But he said, no, there's no way out. You're stuck. So here we are. <laughs> now we're going to go do it. All right. Well, listen, we're going to get ready. We've got uh, to get the rafts rigged. We've been on flat water. We're going to go into the rapids. Right now, it's time for us to go to this week's travel adventure. Every year, the Six County Association of Governments does what they call a congressional ride, where they invite staff members from, uh, from our, our Washington delegation to come and ride in one of the six county areas and look at some of these issues. We're dealing with federal issues, state issues, get them out there to see what it is. It's one thing to sit in your office in Washington, D.C. It's another thing to be on the ground and actually live it and breathe it. I hope my political career is a little cleaner than my pants today. <laughs> Muddy clothes are par for the course on your average autumn ATV ride. But for men and women more accustomed to the mudslinging of politics than what you'll find on the trail, today has been eye-opening. Nine Utah legislators, along with staff and guides, are exploring public lands outside of Fairview, Utah on Highway 89 in an attempt to gain a new appreciation for the recreational opportunities that exist in the Beehive State. Led by Representative Spencer Cox, the lawmakers are given a tour of the OHV trails that so many locals and visitors alike have come to see as a part of their western heritage. Fairview Canyon and the Skyline Drive, where the state leaders set out, are world-famous snowmobile playgrounds during the winter, but less well-known as ATV and dirt bike destinations. Just because the snow is yet to fall doesn't mean these lands are any less of an adventure. And this trail, we started at the parking lot North Skyline Drive, uh, which, is, which is just a beautiful area. Went down past what we call Benches Pond, and then take the cut up road up, and we took a, there's a Forest Service trail, and an amazing trail, a little bit technical, lots of mud today, we've had rain, and took that trail down to, uh, to Huntington Reservoir. And it was fun to go down there to show them uh, kind of a, a different uh, backwoods trail, trail winds through the trees, uh, just some really, really cool, terrain there. Here in Sampe County, I mean, you're 45 minutes from downtown Provo, so it's really not that far off the Wasatch Front. I always joke with the governor, I say, you know, uh, Salt, Lake, Salt Lake City is the best place in the world to do business because you can drive an hour and no longer be in Salt Lake City. 
you know, being able to come up here into the outdoors and, and uh, take in the fall colors right now, coming in the trails are well maintained and I mean, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity to be out here. Those opportunities have come under attack in the last decade as the idea of conservation has slowly become synonymous with land closure, protection with a closed gate. Utah's large tracts of public land are seen as an American treasure, but the debate on how best to preserve them rages on. Today is about opening the eyes of lawmakers, helping them see the value of public land access. I don't think any of them need any convincing. I think they all believe the importance of access to trails and understand the importance of it. They may come from the city, but deep down I think they're okay. It's a situation when you're driving out there on the trails and you, you see some of the forests in particular that are not doing well. It's pretty obvious that the state uh, needs to be able to take control and manage it and have access to it. Be able to provide a better experience not only for those that recreate, but for those that just want to come out and hunt and fish and you know, enjoy, enjoy the, the beautiful scenery that we have here. We talk about these issues, and you can talk until you're blue in the face, but uh, you know, if a picture's worth a, a thousand words, then being out there is worth, worth a million. And seeing, seeing the landscape, seeing the importance of the access, and, and some of the problems that come along with that, I think uh, really helped out. The ride moves through mountain and cloud as the legislators gaze firsthand at the splendor of the area while navigating some tricky terrain. Getting the ride organized was a challenge in and of itself, well, with having to supply machines for all of the lawmakers and staff. We knew we wanted to get uh, legislators here. We wanted to get them on the mountain. We wanted to get them on the trails. And so I talked to the local Polaris dealer, uh, who I know very well, and chatted with them and said, hey, we'd like to rent some machines maybe, get these guys out here. Can we do that? Got a call back and said, Polaris is in the area. They've got their truck full of product. They would love to do this. They're, they're always advocating for trails and the things we're doing here on, the, on this mountain. And they said, we'd love to come and, and meet you there and, and help you out. So it really worked out well for us. With the Polaris ATVs and side-by-sides out on the trails of Fairview, these public servants have been able to leave behind the stress and egos of Capitol Hill, trading them for a day in the outdoors, just like everyone else that has ever climbed on a quad and set their sights on a lofty peak. The public lands debate will continue, but now as lawmakers are faced with mounting pressure to shut down recreation of all types, these men and women will look at the issue not in the abstract, but with the memories of an enjoyable day in the backcountry of the West. If you were predisposed not to enjoying it, being out here on the trails in a recreational vehicle or an ATV, I don't know how you couldn't be moved by what you saw. I mean, there's, it's incredible, right? Lakes everywhere well-maintained trails. Today I hope we highlighted the importance of keeping it open, keeping the access open, and getting out here and seeing the resource that we have. You gotta get on the wheels to get out here. You can't hike to the top of the skyline and back. You've gotta access it and there's, you know, we've been responsible with the way we've done it. We've got roads, let's keep them open. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. If you'd like to find out more about our travel adventure for this week, go to the At Your Leisure website, AYLTV.com. you want to make a comment on it, go to our Facebook page and tell us what you think about it. Now I'm going to tell you what I think. I love boats. And here's an opportunity when you're on this boat trip, if you want, you can actually motor the boat. There are a few things you have to watch out though for. Number one, you have to be able to read the river. And number two, don't hit any sticks or logs because they will cavitate the prop and mess things up. But it's kind of cool to say you were motoring down Cataract Canyon on one of these boats. I'm sorry if I'm not looking you in the eye too much because there are lots of logs and I'm trying to dart my way between them while we're making our way down the canyon. You stay with us. We'll be back with more on the At Your Leisure here on the Colorado River where Alicia and I are running Cataract Canyon all the way to Lake Powell. While other dealers may be springing ahead, Ray City is rolling back. Prices, that is. Right now, you can buy a brand new 2015 Cyclone 3010 toy hauler with a separate garage starting at $42,950. Ray City RV, serving Utah since 1946. Vernal is just one of those unique places in Utah where you have the mountains, you have the rivers, you have two lakes within 20 minutes of town. 
relax as a family, do a lot of swimming. If you would like the, the desert area, you go south, there's a lot of history out south. It just has everything. It's kind of a little mini resort for us. That's what we've always viewed it as. There's a new class of hardest working, smoothest riding. It's got the most torque, the smoothest suspension, the best storage, class leading comfort, and a revolutionary collection of versatile accessories. Introducing the all new 60 horsepower Ranger XP900. A whole new class of hardest working, smoothest riding. Ray City wants you to get the jump on June and get your family camping. Buy a Wildwood X-Lite Series camping trailer with three floor plans to choose from for only $13,998. Ray City RV, serving Utah since 1946. Welcome back to Tiger Leisure. I'm Elise Reverman. I'm here at the beautiful Cataract Canyon again. Dad's first time, my second time. We're having a spectacular, spectacular time. Right now we have to go take a product review, but when we come back, we'll be able to show you a lot more fun than we're having. While you guys are out looking at old stuff, I'm here at Stedman's looking at cool new stuff, and here's Russ Stedman himself to yeah. show us all the cool things you got. Look at, you got generators and lawnmowers and cool little dirt bikes. We're really excited about this spring. Um, you know, the new Beta, this is the 300 Beta. This got Bike of the Year this year. Well, I know, I, I rode that thing last summer and it was awesome then, so. You know, we got the four wheelers. We obviously got the Razors that are all popular. Yeah. You know about these. We just drove that Jagged Edge last week, man. It's awesome. Yeah, that thing's way good looking. A lot of interest in that. But what we really want to talk about today is the bikes, the two wheel stuff. It seems like it's been a long time since we've seen anything new. And both my lines have some really cool things. This thing is gorgeous. Isn't Look at that, that amazing? Paint, the paint job on this with the alligator print this, in it. Yeah, and... this is an SCL Raider from Honda. This is number 331 of 500, so wow. very limited build on these. You've got the new Bolt 950. This has actually got a lot of interest in it as well. That's an air-cooled 950 motor. Lots of different things you can do to that to customize it yourself. And then we got this. That's your brand new 1978. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to move them faster than this. You know, now you're not supposed to keep them around that long. It's even the same color as it was back <laughs> no, then. It's gorgeous. This is the new CB1100 from Honda. That's fuel injection. That's an 1100, but it has all that retro look. I mean, look at all the chrome. Now, is this your grandpa's old Goldwing here? It looks slightly different. This is what we really got you out here today to ride. This is the new F6B. This is the Goldwing, but it's not the Goldwing that you know. Uh -huh. This thing is set up for the single rider. You can see it's got a lot better look. It's got the black chrome on it. Still has the radio, all the controls. It's got the 1800 six cylinder horizontally opposed motor. This thing will set you back in the seat. Smooth as silk though. <laughs> and they've done some characteristics with the handling so that you can really ride this aggressively. So they've changed the front suspension and the rear suspension for guys that really want to get on the twisties. You got a little bit of storage here, it's locked. You got, locked. You got a little bit more over here that, yeah. and, and you got your iPod hook yep, up. Yeah, that's your iPod interface. On these trunks, I don't even see any latches on them. How do you get into them? Yeah, you've still got a lot of storage on these saddlebags here, but there's a key switch back here and then you open, open the lever up right here and you can open, there's one on each side. So really this is a single passenger bike and that's what we're here is to let you go ride it because that's what I'm all about is going for a ride. So yeah, let's, let's get, get, let's get it. it out on the road and we'll see how she does. I'm not gonna sit here. So you go ride it yourself, see what oh, it's about. Come on, chicken. There you go, <laughs> <laughs> have fun. The F6B is a fantastic running bike. It's smooth, it's quiet. Everything that you think about a Honda would be. But the really cool thing about it is it handles and performs like a bullet bike, but it's a heck of a lot more comfortable. Lots of room to move around on it. If you're a bigger guy, I would definitely look at this bike because it has so much room to be able to move around on it. You know, if you're 6'4", 6'5", this bike could be right up your alley. Well, if you want to ride one of these and check it out, get into Stedman's in Tooele. They'd be glad to show you the bike to you. Tell them Darren Kinder told you to come out and give you a hard time. I'll see you next time. Hey folks, RJ Bailey for Stedman's Recreation. You know when it comes to your next purchase on an ATV or road bike, you don't have to have the blues. Come on out to Stedman's where they treat you like family. You'll get the best prices, the best service, and you'll have a friend for life where they got a full lineup of Polaris, Yamaha, and Honda. 
When you come out to Stedman, you're not dealing with just salesmen, you're dealing with family. And when you come out here, they'll make you feel like family. Stedman's Recreation. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. If you're in search of adventure, all you have to do is follow Ular. And this month, Ular is pointing you to the Cedar City Grand Prix Snore event at the Three Peak Recreation Area May 30th and 31st. The Southern Nevada Off-Road Enthusiast Desert Race Series is coming to Cedar City and bringing with it all the dirt flinging, rock crawling, Baja action you want. Get more information at snoreracing.net and join Ular in Cedar City for this premier event. Cedar City Brandhead, a playground of mythic proportions. service really means come to triple s polaris service to the power of three welcome back to at your leisure i am alicia reverman here with chad booth and i'm telling you what we are about to experience well me again yeah the cataract canyon uh, whitewater rapids uh -huh. all right i am uh, i am sufficiently nervous uh this little piece of rope here has become my best friend because uh, they say that they progressively get worse as you go down the canyon, and there are like these straps everywhere. Yep. And they give you the safety talk, and they talk about the boats flipping and pushing yourself down in the water and lifting. Does that make you feel, Chad? Okay. Really nervous, but then I got thinking about it rationally. It, o hold on. it only happens <gasps> if you don't hold on. <laughs> to whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> to the, uh, so that's the, that's the idea, you just hold on all the way through the rapids and you'll be okay. Oh, Chad, Chad! Okay, so they talk, about the, they talk about the names and they say that Brown Betty is the easiest, it's the first, it's the top. Oh, whoa, 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 don't hold on, hold on. Okay, so the thing that I've noticed, I've watched this from the shore before, Oh! Well, it's kind of like having a bad hair day and it being a good thing, you know what I mean? That's why you wear the hat, Chad, you wear yeah. the hat. So, anyway, um, the thing that I've noticed on this is that as you're coming uh, through the ride, you watch it, because I've seen oh, yeah. it on TV before, it, it looks really frightening. But it, while it's scary, once you're in them, it's, it's not that bad. You know, it's not you that bad. You come up, you ride it. Woo! Like, it's cold water. Ooh, it it's not down. that bad. Chad, how are you doing? How's your back? I'm, I'm fine. Well, it hurt a little bit on that one, but I, you know, I, I will recover. So right now, we're going to go on through the last of the rapids. Why don't you go on to this week's Trailhead Adventure? It's been said that the government closest to the people governs most effectively. The problem is that in the 21st century, with Facebook and smartphones, it's very easy to create the illusion of closeness without any actual contact. This goes for public servants as well. It's easier to respond to an email than to find out about an issue face to face. For Governor Gary Herbert of Utah, that modern problem is all too apparent. But in a state that is as much rural as urban, where public land debates are the norm, Staying in his capital office and leading from afar just isn't an option. Today, the governor is in Marysvale, Utah, with his senior staff, meeting with local leaders and heading out into the hills to get a closer look at the public land problems the rural Utah communities are facing. Well, today was a great day. We had the governor, the lieutenant governor, and several of the governor's staff on the Paiute Trail for an excursion where we talked about Aspen, and beetle kill and all kinds of public land management issues. It's always nice to get the, the folks who make the decisions out to look at the situation on the ground. Plus it's always nice to get out and have a little bit of fun and, and get the governor out of the out of the capital and show him what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. There's nothing better than seeing it and you can hear about the bark beetle kill and the loss of our forests and our trees, uh, the loss of our lumber industry that we used to have here it was very healthy and a part of the rural economy. But to see it, you know, it really is uh, disappointing to see that we are not managing our forests as well as we can. The ride heads up Bullion Canyon into forests speckled with color. Instead of being chauffeured by a security detail, 
the governor just rides his own quad, like he's a, another member of the group. Several stops are made on the way over the mountain to look at historic mining sites and discuss problematic issues. They also see the evidence of the current management practices that have not necessarily helped these forests thrive. Governor Herbert takes the time to listen to each case while explaining his own stance on land management. You know, the watchword for me has always been balance. There's an appropriate balance to keep that ecosystem healthy. And sometimes we're going to need to close some roads so we don't have the impact that would be negative to the, to the ecosystem, to our forest and to the landscape. But other times we need to keep it open and the opportunities for our people to come and visit Mother Nature and kind of commune with Mother Nature here and enjoy the beautiful vistas and venues that we have here. So it's, it's finding a proper balance. It's making sure that we're managing correctly. It's especially easy today for government officials of all levels to stand back and let their keyboards do the talking, never getting quite close enough to an issue to make an informed decision. It's good to know that sometimes our elected representatives are actually willing to step away from the halls of power, getting acquainted with the problems on the ground, and even having a little fun on the trail. Days like today have a powerful way of changing one's perspective. I think the governor's always had a great perspective. I don't think today's trip will change that perspective, but I think it does help to, to cement what's really going on on the ground. Today, I think we were able to deliver a message that there are a lot of people enjoying off-highway vehicles responsibly, and that they're out there contributing to the local economies. And I think that's important. Well, I'm honored to be here. It, it's an enjoyable part of my job. And to drink in all this beautiful scenery, it's just spectacular. And, you know, it's just fun to kind of get outdoors in beautiful Utah. Where would you rather be? On a trail in the western backcountry? Hmm, that sounds pretty good to me. From the trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. Our Trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. If you want more information on our Trailhead adventure, please visit AYLTV.com. Mm, that was fantastic. You know, I was kind of waiting to see what you had to say because that was intense. Well, you know, you guys played it up. You and Steve played it up so much that, well, let's put it this way. From seeing the video of the stuff going through, I had expected it to be scarier than it was. When we were actually out in it and it was just, okay, you got to get through this one. You got to, like, recover from the wall of water, knocking off the bench, get back up. That didn't seem quite as scary as watching it from the shore. Now... Chad, let me ask you a question. I mean, you've been guiding for, for a bit. Did I not come prepared for this uh, or not fully understanding? Or, um, you know, what, what should people do when they come out for, to, you know, do a river trip right? I mean, I did have a spare carabiner. Hey, here, so. they, those come in handy, don't they? Yes, they do. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you bring a water bottle to clip onto that carabiner mm -hmm. and uh, some sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you have good shoes like you've got and mm -hmm. uh, rain gear and not only rain gear for when the waves come over but also something warm to put on after so you can so you can warm up and dry out yeah. you also you want to bring a great attitude which both of you had and just be be ready for an adventure well, well that's not... Chad for you it was really I had to twist his arm totally to get him down here. <laughs> we still have to join the rest of the crowd for dinner over here you know not only are these guys really good guides on the river they're really darn good chefs steak, salad, I mean, you eat first class on these things. And we'd better go try some of that good food. We'll be back with more of our Cataract Canyon River Adventure right after this commercial break. Public lands are a part of our American heritage. They define us in ways that go beyond just our need to explore and our drive to see past the horizon. As these lands are closed and public access limited, the toll is greater than just a few miles of trail gone or an inaccessible overlook. The price is our American lifestyle itself. The Blue Ribbon Coalition fights to make sure that doesn't happen. The Blue Ribbon Coalition is there to make a stand. Join us in the battle. BlueRibbonCoalition.org. We fight for access. Why buy a boat? Because your wife, your husband, your kids, your neighbors, your boss, your employees, your ex-mother-in-law, your cats, your dogs, they will all love you if you buy a boat. Start building memories now. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. 
Can't get enough of At Your Leisure? Well, don't worry, because we have you covered. Become a fan on Facebook and make it easier to win our weekly AYL vacation surprises while meeting new outdoor friends. Never be out of touch with AYL again. Looking for fun and excitement this summer? Get your family and friends out without emptying your wallet. Ride'em Rents has two and four seat razors to take your family to the great outdoors. They also rent standard four wheelers and dirt bikes. Hourly, daily, and weekly rentals available. Give Ride'em Rents a call today at 435 224 4947 or check us out online at ride'emrents.com. Call for reservations today. All right, who had a great time? <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Setting sail again on our second day of our river trip. We've been through Cataract Canyon. We survived that. So, Chad, after this experience, what do you think you're going to do for your next adventure? You know, Alicia, I don't know exactly what the next big adventure will be, but there are a lot of them coming right up. That's right. We have a list of our calendar events coming up. Thanks, guys. Steve Human here. Now, our first big event is May 30th and 31st in Cedar City. This is the Snore Grand Prix. This is an off-road race that they're going to be having out at Three Peaks. It's going to be an amazing event, very family friendly, great for spectators. We're going to be there filming and you can watch all these amazing racers hit the dirt and just go crazy. It's going to be great. Also that same weekend in Salt Lake City is the first annual Benefit Fundraiser Classic Car and Motorcycle Show, which is the 31st, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it will be held at the Hillside Plaza 23 378 East, 70th South. They're going to have a sidewalk sale and all proceeds are going to Intermountain Primary Children's Hospitals. This is a great way to help some charity and see some classic cars. Also, I want to remind you of our big Caribbean cruise. You can sign up starting May 20th. You'll want to go to Facebook, become a fan. All the information will be there. And you can win this trip for two. The trip will be next January. It's going to be absolutely amazing. This is from our friends at MSC Cruise Lines and Columbus Travel. So get on Facebook. You're going to want to win this vacation. I guarantee it. We have some great events coming up, but go ahead and take a look at next week's show. In one week, we'll be taking you along with us to the Caribbean and showing what you can expect if you win our AYL, MSC Cruises, and Columbus Travel Caribbean Vacation. See all the beauty and adventure you'll find on your trip, plus places to go and explore, what restaurants are good, and a few tips from the locals. It'll be an episode in paradise, and we want you to come with us next week on AYL. Yeah, it looks like a great show next week. I can't wait. And I really regret that this is over. Uh, me too. Unfortunately, I think I could do the four-day trip now that I have prepared myself, and I've done the two two times yeah, in a row. Yeah, but you know, you know what, though, Alicia, I kind of like the repeat idea, that rapid repeat. Just keep going right okay. through cataract all day long. I agree. Quick repeat. That was Quick. actually really a good time. We need to give a shout out to Eric Thompson and Shatterack Rambi. They were awesome guys. I don't like the way you just roll that off. Your I know. Tongue. Wasn't that awesome? Shatterack Rambi. <laughs> I love that name. They are they are just exceptional guides. I don't know if they breed them that way or train them that way or what, but they do an excellent job. And we're fresh out of time, so we've got to go. All right. So between now and the next time we all get together, make sure that you get out with your family, your friends, at your leisure. That's right. See ya. Outside of Moab on the water, and I'm up north. That doesn't make any sense at all. Back over to see our quarter. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.